If it was a hot day and you had been working outside all day, you would of course work up a big thirst. Would you drink this? It's water, it's in a bottle ready to drink. Why would you not drink this? It's obvious, right? It's dirty water. Something is polluting it. It's not fresh and clean like we want our water to be. Okay, what about this bottle? Would you be more inclined to drink this? Sure, it looks clean and pure. I probably would, but what if I told you it was possibly biologically or chemically contaminated, but you couldn't see it? You would probably wanna pass and go to a trusted source for a drink of water. Purity matters, doesn't it? We don't want diamonds filled with black spots. My daughter does not want sulfates in her shampoo and conditioner. She wants it to be good and clean for her hair. Many of you want makeup free of certain things because you want pure and clean products on your skin. We wanna rid our bodies of toxins, so we try to eat clean and drink purifying drinks. We want purity and quality. We want what is good for us. If that's really the case, why are we so quick to allow so many things into our life that are not good for us and that God calls out to be impurities to our body, mind, and heart? God calls us to pursue righteousness and holiness. We cannot pursue immorality and Jesus at the same time. We may look clean and righteous, but inside our hearts and minds are not. Matthew 23, 27. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside, you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside, you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. Jesus always takes it to the heart. Whitewashed tombs may be white and pure on the outside, but inside they are still full of the bones of the dead. Friends, you can eat, drink, and use every clean thing on the outside in a pursuit of purity and perfection. But if your heart pursues the things of this world rather than the things of God, consider your life a whitewashed tomb. We are called to love God and love others. This does not mean we are called to love the things of this world. If you love the things of this world more than the things of God, the Bible says in 1 John 2.15, the love of God is not in you. Consider your heart today. What is your heart pursuing? Are you walking in obedience to God's word? What are the things of God and what are the things of this world? It's all right here. Psalm 119.9, how can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. Guard your way. We're not perfect. Through faith in Jesus, we are forgiven and covered by grace. But our life should be in pursuit of the things of God and turning away from the things of this world. That's the truth. Pray about what that looks like in your life. Sometimes the impurities are easy to see. Other times it takes the Holy Spirit to help us see the true condition of our heart. I'm Lori Klein.